Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another Dating the Signs video. This particular video is about dating an Aquarius sun sign. If you're new here, I am Brooke. I make zodiac and astrology and tarot and plant videos and decorating and whatever the hell I feel like making whenever I feel like making it because life's short. If you are not new here, welcome back. I'm really glad that you came back for another video. This Aquarius one has been highly requested because apparently a lot of you guys are Aquarius is and um i've been going in order like from virgo on so now it's aquarius season on friday january 24th i'm probably posting this on like tuesday or wednesday or thursday i don't know the aquarius season is coming and it is time for me to make this video but before i get into the video i do need to say to you guys because i've been gaining a lot of traction with my zodiac videos and there have been some people who ha who still just do not listen and they don't understand anything really about astrology or natal charts. Just because I'm making a video about an, a, a sun sign does not mean every person, every Aquarius that watches this video is going to resonate with everything I say. And the reason is because those of you who aren't familiar with astrology, we all have more than one sign in our chart. I am a Cancer sun with a pisces moon and my ascendant is virgo you might be an aquarius sun and that's all you know about yourself but you might have a sagittarius moon and you might be a libra rising so maybe without even realizing it you resonate more with your moon and your rising sign or something else entirely in your chart and you don't really agree with what i'm saying about you being an aquarius it's normal, it's fine, that's the beauty of astrology. Please do not go in my comments and act absolutely ridiculous because I'm a real person and I will comment back. Um, you're not just typing into the void. Like if you're trying to argue, <laughs> if you wanna get crazy, I will get crazy, but anyways. But with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about five things you should know about dating an Aquarius sun. Someone with their sun in Aquarius, not their moon not their rising, not their Venus, not their Jupiter, not their Mercury, their sun. Okay, okay. First thing that you should know about dating an Aquarius is that they are kind of the detached sign of the Zodiac. They are not necessarily cold. They're not um, mean, they're not, you know, they're not frigid people. They're very loving individuals, but they can be detached in relationships because it's not the end all be all for them. And they're not the only sign like that. I think Sagittarius definitely resonates with that a little bit in the fact that both of these signs kind of take every relationship as like a passive thing. If it doesn't work out, it's okay. And it's cool that they even had the opportunity to be with somebody like whoever they were with, but they don't really get swept up in relationships. They get swept up in their hobbies. They get swept up in things that bring them joy that like physical activities, like drawing and stuff like that. But they're not super passionate, like over the moon about everyone they date. Because of that, I feel like because they're like that, they attract a lot of suitors who think I'm gonna sweep them off their feet. I'm gonna be the one in a million. I'm gonna show them what true love is like. I'm going to be everything that they didn't even know they were missing. But Aquarius is not so easily tied down like that. Aquarius is such a mystical, like butterfly, glittering, ethereal being. I, I adore them. I adore their, their like fairy-like qualities. Well, I know a lot of Aquarius women. I don't know a ton of Aquarius men like two. But every Aquarius woman I've ever met has a very like captivating trait about them. Maybe it's in their art or the way they talk or speak or treat people, but they draw people to them. They're very opinionated people as well. But with that being said, they draw a lot of people to them, but they don't keep everyone around. And they aren't super attached in relationships unless you know, there's something really captivating about you and they really just want to stick around and see things, see things through to the end. They're very rational about relationships. 
they understand that if it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. They, they're, they're rational thinkers in general. They're pretty logical, I think, even though they're like the most dreamy sign of the Zodiac in my personal experience, my personal opinion. Um, they're, they, they live in their own brain, they live in their own mind, but I think they're very grounded individuals, honestly. Detached, but grounded, if that makes sense. The second thing to know about Aquarius sign, sun signs, um, they are very liberated individuals. This goes for opinions, this goes for relationships, goes for um, beliefs, this goes for sex especially. I have never met an Aquarius woman who would ever hear of anyone slut shaming her or telling her like, you're a hoe because you've slept with 80 people this month alone. Like I've never met an Aquarius woman who gave a single shit about someone's opinion of her in things that she truly valued in herself. They are not the type of people who really care what other people think of their personal choices. Um, and even if they do care, I think at the end of the day, the end of the day they'll still make the same decisions. Um, they just might not be so vocal about the decisions they're making to the people in their life that might judge them. I think they have a very imaginative approach to um, intimacy. Um, just like they don't always get super attached to people in general, they don't attach a ton of emotion to sleeping with people. Um, it's, an, it's an experience to them. It is uh, just like another part of life. They approach it in a very like, logical, natural, healthy way. It's just, it is what it is. Like it's not taboo. It's not means for destruction. It's not, um, you know, something that they're super secretive about. It just is what it is. They're very liberal. They're very, well, not, I don't want to say, I don't want to bring politics into it. They're very liberated individuals when it comes to their body, mind, and spirit. Number three, the third thing to know about dating an Aquarius sun. They, like I said before earlier, they live in their mind. Um, they're very creative, very, very imaginative beings. They love uh, the arts. I've never met an Aquarius that didn't, if they didn't create art themselves, they at least had an eye for art. They could recognize beauty when they see it. Um, I know a lot of Aquarius people who are great at drawing and painting. Um, super, super creative individuals. They're very unconventional people in the aspect of making things. Like, I feel like a lot of Aquarius creators or artists will start things and then take a long time to finish them. But when they're done with them, they're extremely impressive and they're worthy of bragging about. But I, Aquarius people aren't really the type to brag. They're kind of just like little wallflowers and, um, they don't go unnoticed, but they don't put themselves out there as like, look at me, compliment me, I'm gonna brag about myself, I'm not humble, like they're just not like that. I did read somewhere once that um, Aquarius has been accused of loving mankind, but not man. So I translate that to mean they love the idea of love, they love creating, creating love, they love creating something that other people would love in their art, but they're not as obsessed with individual love, like individual relationships and finding the right person as they are with the idea of love as a universal, like a whole. But however, however, once they have met the person that resonates with their soul, once they've met the person that they recognize themselves in and that they feel accepted by, they are loyal and devoted and, um, a, an ideal partner, honestly. They are not the kind of people to get jealous. They are not uh, manipulators, typically. They don't pick fights with their partner over nothing. Very tolerant of a lot of things, very go with the flow. And I think for a lot of people that's considered ideal. Like nobody wants to fight in a relationship. Nobody wants to um, feel like gaslighted or targeted in a relationship and i'm not saying that an aquarius can't be someone who can target you because like i said before any sign is capable of anything but they are just they're just not master manipulators they're not the type to fight they're lovers not fighters i truly believe that the fourth thing to know about an aquarius dating a, an aquarius son is they do like their privacy and 
the second that their privacy is violated, like it's over. You'll lose their trust. It's a huge, trust is a huge thing with Aquarius sons. They don't go, you're not gonna go through their phone and like get away with it um, if they find out. Like I don't, I really don't think I don't think it's one of those things like you go through their phone and it's like a slap on the hand. Like, no, you go through their phone and their their privacy is violated. Their trust is kind of broken with you and they just don't, they don't appreciate that. Um, it makes them feel fenced in. It makes them feel trapped. And Aquarius is not a sign that can handle being held down on anyone else's terms except for their own. Aquarius must feel like they have control over um, what parts of their life they're allowing other people in, and that includes family, friends, partners, whatever. Once an Aquarius is in love with you, they'll stick with you, they'll stay in your field, but they they still do wanna know that like the, the gates are open. Like you're not gonna be a person to hold them back. You're always gonna be the person to push them forward and want the best for them. And if like if things don't work out, they're not going to be someone you can hold on to and like pull back to you um, or like win over time and time again. Like they are free, free, free spirits beyond this realm of thinking. I don't think all of y'all are human. To be honest, I think some of you are actually like little wood nymphs or some shit because, okay, I'm going off on a tangent. They value their privacy. They are truthful people. They don't misrepresent themselves as anything other than what they truly are. So for you to go looking for something, or uncover some lies about them, uncover some dirt, uh, it's pointless because they typically give you the most upfront and honest version of themselves. And the fifth thing you guys should know about dating an Aquarius, this is how you can attract them. This is how you can become friends with one, how you can stay in their good graces. They are signs of the mind. They love science. They love learning about the deeper things in life. They love long conversations. They love art. Um, they love true, genuine feeling and conversation. They are extremely amusing and interesting people to talk to. So if you want to attract an Aquarius, maybe learn a little bit about what he or she is interested in and just like strike up a conversation about that. Um, talk about the universe, talk about conspiracy theories, talk about a really cool like, I don't know, Quentin Tarantino movie or something, Wes Anderson film. Talk about something obscure and different and really just get to know what they're into. Um, Aquarius can turn you on to a lot of really cool things that aren't really mainstream media, um, like great music, great movies. If you don't share all of their interests, it's kind of easy to get jealous a little bit of them that they've got so damn many. But instead of being jealous that they can put their attention in so many places at once, try to embrace that fact about them because they are just such interesting people and they've got so many hobbies and talents and they're just like a never ending book. They're a never ending, really cool book that you should read at least once in your life if you get a chance to even just be friends with an Aquarius. Also, Aquarians are typically seen as like the weirdos of the Zodiac, but I think one thing you should not do if you wanna truly attract an Aquarius is make them feel like an outsider for their interests or make them feel strange. Don't go up to an Aquarius and be like, oh, you're an Aquarius, Ugh, you weirdo. Like that's so cringy, that's gross to them. They're gonna think you're weird for even saying that. So like, don't even do it. Just like treat them like you would any other partner and don't be like a shallow type of person. Genuinely respect them, their, their privacy, be honest with them, be upfront, share some books with them back and forth, talk about, you know, some art, go to a museum with them. They are intricate people and make really cool partners um, when you're given the chance to date them, but they can smell ingenuity from like a mile away. So like, don't be a fake ass bitch, basically. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I clearly love Aquarians. Uh, I love every sign for different reasons, but I think that Aquarians are just this the cutest little fairies of the zodiac. They're just so they're just so sweet and interesting and I just want to hug them. I love them. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more stuff 
content from me. I post a lot on Instagram. I'll stick that over here. You guys should follow me at Lil Witch. Um, I also really love talking to you guys. So if you want to send me a DM over there or something and just say you're from YouTube, I would love to talk with you. Um, almost the 3,000 subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. I am so grateful and so happy and I truly just really enjoy what I'm doing with my channel right now. So I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye!